There are different uh, types of RNA drugs. RNA is a, is a newer class of drugs. We have antisense oligonucleotide. They target uh, messenger RNA to regulate the expression of the actual protein. And we also have SARNA, which is more interfering RNA. These are short pieces of RNA of about 21 nucleotide double-stranded, and which is actually targeting messenger RNA in the cytoplasm and cleave the target mRNA, which is responsible for making a specific protein. We have also microRNA, and these are in two ways you can actually use microRNAs to overexpress some proteins which are not expressed. Or you can also use anti-microRNA, which is antimere or antagomere, which are to target the microRNA implicated in the pathology of certain diseases and completely inhibit the mechanism of action. Mm -hmm. And then we also have other classes of drugs called recent advancements are CRISPR-Cas. So the, basically you can edit the gene at the gene level and control uh, the uh, regulate the expression of uh, your uh, disease causing gene that is more like a permanent fix mm -hmm. but the conventional rna drugs like antisense say rna microRNA, or dna enzyme these are you know uh, they're not permanent mrna is actually a vaccine approach so that's basically a bio these are all synthetic and the other one uh, the mrna is a vaccine that we have all used during our COVID period. So mRNAs are actually a long RNA molecule uh, biologically produced by in vitro transcriptions that can be used also to upregulate the proteins that are missing and also it can be developed as a vaccine. I would say is they all are wonderful technologies mm -hmm. and in certain cases you may want to use antisense technology in you know, if you want to, you know, uh, splice switching, then you may want to definitely use antisense drug. There is no way you can use SARNA. So in certain cases, obviously, we are better off using SARNA because that technology is far more potent compared mm -hmm. with antisense. And in the vaccine scenario, you definitely, if you really want protein upregulation, the, the transcript replacement, for, then you have to use mRNA technology. And if you really want to edit a certain part of a gene, kind of permanent, you have to use like CRISPR-Cas. Uh, I'm saying all of these are it's really a technology. It's a portfolio. It's a yeah. class of different RNA therapeutics. They all have its merit. It depends on what we are doing and uh, what is the right approach and what is the right technology to develop or to cure that specific condition. Mm -hmm.